a joyful noise for Jesus. The Bible said they've delivered the devil by their word of their testimonies. Right now, I just want to invite the sons and daughters of Major One that have got testimonies to tell us what the God of our Father, Major One, have done for them in their lives. My brother, may you quickly introduce yourself, tell us where you come from, and the testimony, please. Hallelujah, church. My name is Samuel Banda. I'm originally from Malawi, but I reside in Tonga sometimes in Pals, depending on where my bosses are. Kai, clip for Jesus, Samba. Did you, did you just hear that? Did you just hear that? Hey, continue, my brother. A few months ago, I got uh, the prophecy. Uh, that should be six months ago. And uh, the prophecy uh, said that I'm going to receive something huge, but when I get it, I must not leave the God of Major One. A uh, few weeks down the line, I got a job that I never applied for, and uh, I've been working for the past seven months. So, like uh, three months while I was still working, Apostle taught us something so profound. He said, You can get the job with the grace, but it will take something for that job to be sustained. So I say, what can I do for me to remain in this place? Because I don't need to go back into the previous jobs that I used to do because I was working in the restaurant. I'm a chef by profession. Now, uh, my friend, who is the chef to Malema, spoke to me. He's from Malawi as well. Wait, 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 my brother. I think I already had your testimony in this one. Before you continue, the guy said, I got a job that I have never applied for. But the guy is still flowing, which means there is something big that is coming. May you receive the job that you have never applied for. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You shall be in places where you never thought you would be. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. From today onwards, wherever you were rejected, you shall be accepted. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you need a job, receive it, somebody. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, continue, my brother. All right, so to cut the long story short, uh, I came here and I spoke to Apostle that this is what has happened. So by then, I was having ideas to, to invest my money into Forex. So he told me, no, you don't have to do that. Uh, there is something that will require money that you will put into so I said, what that could be? Then uh, I just said, okay, I went. Then uh, when I did my research, I said, what can I do for me to remain in this position? Because children of God, I have seen favor. Uh, I never thought that I could stand before ministers serving them, but it has happened not once, not twice. In the mighty name of Jesus. My brother, I meant to say, first of all, you have received favor. How many need favor here today? If you need favor, receive it. In the name of Jesus. If you need favor, it is yours. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In whatsoever you shall do, favor will be upon you. Wherever you shall go, favor will be upon you. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You shall stand before great men. You shall stand before ministers. You shall stand before presidents. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, and uh, I said, okay, I think I should just go and study. Because in my contract, which I didn't sign yet, uh, it, uh, they, it refers me as a butler. But I'm not yet a butler. Though I do some of the choices that butler does. So I said, what can I do now? So I, I researched and I asked my few friends that I have. Then they told me you can go and study in Cape Town. But now the challenge was the amount that they require there for me to study. It was a lot. I said, what must, what can I do? But God has done a miracle. I paid the school fees without taking any loan from anybody. Come on, somebody. Clip hands for Jesus. Clip hands for Jesus, somebody. If you need a miracle, you will clap hands for Jesus. As you are clapping hands for Jesus, you are receiving your own testimony. As you are clapping hands for Jesus, you are receiving your own testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen. You do not need anybody to do something. 
You just need the God of major one. You do not need to borrow money from people to do something. You just need one man who is God of major one. You do not need somebody to support you. You just need the God of major one. But from today onwards, as you are about to encounter God of major one today, your life is turning around. In the mighty name of Jesus, your life is changing today. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. So my brother, I mean to say, you did not, the amounts were big, but still you did not I borrow money from anybody. I did not borrow from anybody. The man of God previously prophesied yes. and said you will require That's money, money. Yes. but you didn't know what was it. So uh, I didn't involve my boss because my boss has already an idea for me to go and study, but in a different uh, institution. Now, when I paid, uh, like a few weeks before he traveled, I went to him and spoke to him that uh, I'm planning to go to school in June. So please, I need to take the leave. Then he's like, no, you are going there for months. So you cannot say, you, can just, you cannot just come now and tell me. So he got upset. I thought he would have fired me. So then the meeting was not resolved. He just left and I left. I continued doing my choices. Then he, two days after that, he called me into this office and he, he said, tell me, what are, what are you planning? What, where do you see yourself in three years from now? I said, I, want, I see myself in books. I see myself in places of people that I never dreamed of. If you don't want me here. But if you want me here, then I see myself as your butler and I will do exploit here. Wait. Where are you seeing yourself tomorrow? Where are you seeing yourself three years from now? Where are you seeing yourself two years from now? Where are you seeing yourself one year from now? Have you ever asked yourself a question like that? You will be in greater places somebody. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Continue, my brother. Okay, so he said, all right. After I had uh, thoroughly thoughts about whatever you told me, I think it's best for you to go to school in June because we'll be traveling to America. Then he, when you go there, now... Wait. My brother, you mean to say, the boss was upset. Yes. But suddenly changed the mind. He changed the mind. And uh, not only that, he said, now since you are going to school, I need to make a statement with you. Uh, as you are going to school, this is the amount that you will be receiving after you are back. Now, it, it clicked in my mind when we were at that side. I was just praying. Then I told God that, God, those that are earning 30,000, they don't have two heads. So, they are human like me. So, I don't need my salary to be 8,000 downwards. I need it to be up. What God has done is something so much. Receive your own somebody. Stand up and celebrate Jesus. Stand up and celebrate Jesus somebody. Stand up and celebrate a testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you are celebrating this testimony, you are receiving your own. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You move mountains. You cause so far with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible you cause love with your power come on declare you perform Did you hear what our brother said? He said, I was just praying and I said, God, those who earn 30,000, they are also human beings like me. But what he was praying for, God have granted it to him. The same prayer that he said, those who earn 30,000, they are also human like me. And they are also human like you. You are receiving your own somebody. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you are going higher and higher 
and higher and higher in Jesus' mighty name. The second testimony, uh, I was still searching for Karinali School because I wanted to go and get uh, the qualification. Though I can do a lot, I can cook, I can do sushi, I can do many things. But now I said, no, I need to get a diploma in this. Then uh, I just, uh, since he accepted that I should go to, to study, let me also go ahead and ask him which school is the best here in South Africa. So he said, you can go to Jack Mac uh, Cameroons. Then uh, when I contacted the Jack Cameroons, they said our course here begins with one year, eight months. So I went to him and told him that, no, this is what they say, but I don't think I can do it because they're in Peter Marasbeck. They don't have a uh, campus here in Durban. Now he said, okay, I'll see what I can do. Yesterday, I got the email from, uh, no, that should be the, uh, the day before yesterday evening. I got the email from his secretary telling me on how I can go about it. They can teach me online for a few months. Then after that, I can go and just do my practicals. So I just see this as the hand of God. Come on, somebody clap hands for Jesus. Clap hands for Jesus, somebody. Clap hands for Jesus. There are things that God of Menjawan can do done for you. He is the God of impossibilities. Whatever you thought you could not do, after today, after today, they will just begin to manifest upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will reap where you did not sow. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, if you believe, take it. If you believe, it is yours. In the name of Jesus. So my brother, what are the words of encouragement that we have for the church? The other words of encouragement that I can give to the church is that you don't need you don't need to look down on yourself when you are here if god has done it for me there is nobody here god cannot do it for because i came in south africa in 2013 without any qualification not nothing not even academical i did i don't have anything but when i stand before ministers and explain things to them after i have done it i go in the closet and ask myself was it really me standing before that mighty guy so with god of major one everything is possible come on somebody clip in for jesus